Here we are people, week 3 of the PPL, we are up against Edison and her London Shockwave and uh, yeah, we just came off a loss sadly versus PokeMMD and his LA Wakers so we are desperate for a win but sadly Edison currently in the number one seed in the league, two wins already and uh, yeah, definitely a tough opponent to face right here but we have no mercy, we trained this whole week as hard as we could potentially for this matchup to get our next win to get back onto a winning record and make sure that we get into playoffs and take the championship and for that of course we will have to defeat the current number one seed at some point so why not now already in regular season so let's go with that let's defeat her and see how this season can end for us but first of course let's go over our opponent's team we got the Dragapult, the Galarian Zapdos, the Gardevoir which currently is uh, a pretty like Edison is the queen of Gardevoir, what else can I say, like, that, that thing has been used uh, greatly in the first two weeks and uh, yeah, how that's going to be used in this match probably going to be very, very important, very detrimental on how we deal with that. Then we got of course the Terra Taurus, Terra Normal, Ground Electric, Rotomo, Arcanine, Glamora, the King Gambit, the Tatsugiri and Gogot, both Terra Captains as well with Water Electric Steel for the uh, Tatsugiri and Grass Water Rock for the Gogot and then Gastrodon in the, yeah, in the goal as the most defensive mon. So yeah, uh, mostly more offensive oriented team, some of the bulky mons, like mainly the Gastrodon is like the premier bulky mon, all the other mons have offensive sets, they have bulky sets and then of course we have some offensive threats which are just brainy, super offensive threats like the uh, Zapdos Gala, like the King Gambit potentially, like the Dragapult, like the Tauros, like the Gardevoir. Glimora, of course, Hazard Stacking is a scary versus us, so yeah, this time we are not gonna underestimate the Hazards versus us, so we are gonna bring our removal for that. But uh, yeah, that's basically the opponent's team. Let's go over our strategy, how we intend to break this squad right here and take our second win of this season. First off, these are our six monsters we're bringing to here. Much their first time coming in the goal, then the defensive lineup. We got uh, Moraine, the Florges, and of course, uh, barely the Corviknight. Our midfield offensive lineup is going to be uh, the Pormod Lely, and of course, Alex the Azov. And then our main striker is going to be uh, Magic the Roaring Moon, or the most offensive mon without any setup needed. But we'll go with strategy real quick. Let's first start with the, our defensive lineup. How do we want to deal with our opponent's mons? And we start off with Paul the Mudsdale, physically defensive with the Rocky Helmet. This is mainly a switch in, in stuff like the Zapdos Gala, so we can wear it down. If it goes for Brave Bird, it gets recoil, it gets Rocky Helmet recoil, and get this passive damage with the Rocky Helmet of all the offensive mons and all the mons which want to go for u turn be it a Dragapult, be it something else. We want the passive damage on everything. That Earthquake, of course, main stab move. Body Slam, because it's got the best neutral ground we can have to hit the Zapdos Gala and the Rotomo, and potentially get some Paras on the Zapdos, which would be very nice. And then of course Staff Rock we're going to have hazards and then rest to keep it healthy and to keep racking up this passive damage due to the Rocky Helmet. Just people touching us, getting our stamina boosts and then keeping on getting chip damage on everything. That is the plan with Mudsdale, mainly there for all the offensive physical threats the opponent has. Like I said, mainly Zeppos Galar, the King Gambit, Shenanigans like this. A little bit of Spidef so we can take an energy ball from Glimora. Not well, but we can take it at least. Go for Earthquake, potentially Oko that thing. But uh, yeah, that's basically the spread on Mudsdale. A little, a little bit of speed there to potentially outspeed the Gastrodon. Because if it's a Spidef Gastrodon, the Earthquake will actually do a good amount of damage. And uh, yeah, outspeeding that, potentially getting that KO can be very pretty important. So that's why you have the speed right there. Now, next up, let's talk about barely our Corviknight. Mixed defensive, like I said, as you can see, it's impish nature, so plus defense nature, but very little uh, fist of investment, mainly speed death investment. And uh, yeah, just brave for due to pre standard coverage there, Roost, and of course the important Defog. That's why mainly this mod is here to, yeah, whatever Demora wants to stack us with, we can get rid of that real quick and don't have to, have to worry about that. The, uh, yeah, the max investment is just to take hits from everything, basically, so versus doesn't matter which mod is in front of us as long as we are like at like the 75-ish percent mark we can take any hit and always get a defog off and that is very important for us then of course slow u-turn to get our threats in and brave bird as just his main stab because it does good damage and uh, yeah be it the dragapult be it the uh, zeppelos gala we do good damage everything of course we don't hit the king gambit as much uh, we would love to have body press for that but in general brave bird is just the best middle ground for the team and with king gambit we just want to get this, uh, the u-turn off so we can get our threats and to deal with that and yeah next our defense liner we got Moraine the floor just once again with call mindset this time terror water with 
uh, Drainicus, Terra Blast, Core Mind, and Synthesis, and a little bit of speed so we can, uh, yeah, which in case Mons want to speed creep us, we can creep the creep, basically what I like to do. And uh, yeah, mainly Fist Death, so we can, uh, of course, after the Core Mind would still take the hit from everything else. And this Bedef investment little there just to deal with a potential choice back Dragapult, so we can still take the hits from that. And uh, yeah, depending on uh, the mons she brings and depending on what set they are, if we get a few core mines up, this might just take the win. It's not basically, I, I didn't really need another move. Drainicus and Terra Blast Water already hits the team very well. Uh, if she wants to revenge kill me with the King Gambit, I go and turn into a water type, boom, I'm not weak to steel anymore. Steering Dragapult, boom, I'm not weak to that anymore. So I, I think here and there, I can't, if I didn't Terra yet, I can't definitely, I think, get the core mind up here and there potentially surprising with the Terra, because Terra Ground has its utility versus the opponent team as well, hitting, for example, like I said, the Grimoire a little better, but Water Hits are super effective as well, so I assume she will break the Terra Water, but depending on when I actually pull the trigger to Terra, like I said, that's where the mind games begin, I could potentially get a, a, a close close to being free core mind up with your Moraine, and yeah, after a few boosts, uh, yeah, you're basically unkillable with all the recovery you get with Leftovers and the Draining Kiss, and you might just take the game from there. That's why I have you here with this spread. Uh, but mainly, they, like I said, already said, you're there to check the Dragapult. Because even though Corviknight is Bedef, it likes Choice Specs Fire Blast, still does way too much. So, yeah, what well, is just a way better check versus that. Then, next up, we are talking about Lily, the uh, Heavy Duty Boots Natural Cure Palmer this time. With Close Combat, Ice Punch, Seed Bomb, and Rest. Close Combat, of course, great stab. Uh, ice Punch for everything which you can't hit with the Close Combat, being the, for example, the Zapdos Galar. The, uh, the Dragapult, all these ones which are weak to ice, and a seed bomb, of course, there for the Gastrodon. And then rest natural cure, because mainly what I need uh, Lily to do, what I need you to do, is to stay healthy throughout the game. So it doesn't matter how many mons died, doesn't matter how boosted the King Gambit is, we always have a healthy power mod, uh, which is faster, has stab, close combat, and is resistant to all the hits, and we don't have to worry about that. That's why I decided to go with Rest Net Cure right here, so we can use use you in the early game. We don't have to worry too much about that. We just don't have you to. You can't just die. That's what we have to worry about. But we don't mind damage because then uh, in the mid stages of the game we can still rest up, switch out, switch back in. Boom! We are full health power, and we can deal with the King Gambit. It doesn't matter, like I said. It could even you know, it could even be five dead mons and a plus two SD boost. Uh, doesn't matter. We rest up, we come back in, and we can always revenge kill him. Like Baron, Baron is a sub set or something like that, but don't really expect that uh, she needs the coverage, and if you want to set up uh, Sword Sense, it's probably better. So, uh, yeah, that's the job of Power Mod, like, just, in general, good coverage, good speed. The speed, of course, there to outspeed is that plus Gala at max speed. And, uh, yeah, just staying healthy and always be this failsafe against the King Gambit, which can a little bit get out of hand, depending on how boosted it gets with, uh, yeah, dead mons and potentially SDs as well. So next up, we are talking about our Choice Scarf, Roaring Moon Magic. You are here just to be fast and be uh, revenge kill everything. She has the Dragapult, which is one of the fastest mods in the meta game right now. And we want, want to have something which can just come in, be faster, click its stab button and just kill it. That's why we have you here with Outrage, Crunch, Earthquake and U-Turn. Enough speed to outspeed a potentially Choice Scarf Taurus as well, so we are faster than that. And uh, yeah, just our premier revenge killer. Doesn't matter what she brings versus us, uh, barring is like a Dragon Dance Dragapult, but then she probably wouldn't invest so much speed into that. But uh, yeah, Dragon Dance Physical Dragapult, uh, our, uh, thing, our thing, um, Paul, the uh, Master can deal with, so we are not scared about that. But uh, yeah, just in general, great revenge killer. Since her team is mainly offense oriented, uh, having a fast and strong mon like this, which can basically, after a bit of, bit of little bit of chip revenge kill everything, is super valuable. So that's why I decided to go with that. This offensive team is always what you want to have to do. Just have the fastest mon, so you don't have to worry about. You can always offensively check whatever the offensive threats the opponent brings. So yeah, that's the job of Magic: The Roaring Moon. And then last but not least, our win con. What I win the plan to win with is our core mind. Mystical power as elf with the substitute with leftovers and the flamethrower enough speed once again for Taurus this time not choice scuffed of course But we are fast on Taurus then the HP investment so at plus two special defense Gastrodon can't break our sub anymore with surf and as well at plus two special attack We oko a max HP King Gambit with the flamethrower So our plan of that is to come in with something scared out or go for substitute get a core mind get another core mind Potentially have to win some mind games versus the King Gambit with substitutes core mind shenanigans, but we want to get to Plus two. That's the plan. Substitute. We can potentially get behind, depending on if if, if uh, Edison decides to check us offensively or defensively. But mainly, you want to get to plus two, either with a core mind plus mystical power, be it two mystical powers, be it two core minds, whatever. We have many potential ways to get to plus two with this thing. And once we are at plus two, 
we can go to town on the opposing team because nothing takes the hits very well. If we get a core mind boost, of course, the Dragapult doesn't revenge kill us anymore with Shadow Ball since we are too especially bulky. At least if we are healthy enough, of course, because Elf is rather frail. But that's why you have some HP investment as well for like, uh, yeah. So we can take the hits uh, after the death boost. That's why I decided to go with core mind over nasty plot because, yeah. The revenge killing capabilities he has, Bang is like a Scarfer, uh, mainly her special Dragapult, because physical Dragapult would need to run Phantom Force shenanigans and stuff like that, and I can get, I can, no wait, Phantom Force would get behind the stuff, but like I said, I don't really expect, if it's physical Dragapult, I don't expect it to have a ghost coverage, so yeah, that's why I decided to go with Core Mind, and yeah, I think it can surprise her with this set for sure, but yeah, that's what I plan to do, like get passive damage with hazards with the rocks, uh, Rocky Helmet, I mean, I mean, with rocks as well, but with the Rocky Helmet from the Mudsdale, I have always a uh, fail save in the Roaring Moon as a choice carver or a healthy Palmer for the rest, and then as of there to come in at some point, just click Core Mind, click Mystical Power, click Substitutes, whatever the situation, uh, yeah, wants, wants from us in, in that moment, and uh, yeah, just go to town on the opposing team. And of course, like the secondary win con can be Moraine, but that depends a lot on the sets and how the game turns out, basically. Like, it could happen that I just win turn two with that, but uh, yeah, I don't really expect that. Edison does a, did a very good job so far in this league, so yeah can't get too comfortable with that plan but yeah this is the lineup versus the London shockwave that is the plan that is how we want to deal with this let's get onto the stadium let's go to the field show them what he can do show them that number one seat does mean nothing to us we still gonna defeat them and uh, yeah take our deserved spot at the number one in this league but that's all let's go to the field let's show what we can do roll it down fans <laughs> 